through. I'm trying to film. Stay back here, Ginger. doggies okay we are out here getting ready to take down some trees well i'm not i'm recording we got frank and flint over there getting ready to take down some trees that are right in the line of nemo's new yeah. hen they are dead and we don't want to risk that they will fall down once we get our fence up so we're gonna get them out of the way Is this your favorite thing to do? Yeah. You're good at it. My favorite thing to do is fish, and I never get to. Oh, I'm sorry. Too much work to do. Gonna get a little tension on that one, and then he'll go cut the backside. Whoa, Papa's sinking in the mud. Papa's in quicksand. Damn. I'm recording. <laughs> Let's get the chain and wrap it around Frank's waist. <laughs> I could pull up, but I think my boot's going to come off. Oh, no. Help him, Flint. No, I don't know what to do. We'll both be stuck. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What do we got here? Oh my gosh, that's really quicksand. Huh? Yeah, I know. I'm going to have to chain them up. This might be the video. This might be the one. Oh. Oh, oh Frank! <laughs> Throw him a ladder, Flint. <laughs> there, Frank. Well, I don't know if that's going to All right, wait. Do you want me to put it on the ground? Yeah. There you go. Here. Need a piece of plywood or something to sit on. Now I have to go in there with paint on. Yeah. Oh. Good oh thing goodness. you knew ahead of time, right? Right. That was worse than when I was stuck in our pond. <laughs> That's a bog. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't think it'd be that soft. We better make sure that's not in the emu pen or Mimu will be stuck in it. Well, yeah, but she might or he or whatever might not be. The problem right now is we've wiped out all the vegetation. Okay. Except for a couple trees. So the water is not going up in any, any shrubs or cedars or nothing. Plus, it's, it's winter time and it's not, we're not drinking like they well, this was full of a bunch of just crap trees, though. Now, there's nothing sucking it up. Okay, you heard back. All right, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, doggos. Jet, you stay back behind the ranger. That tree's going to come down. Come on, Blue. Piece of wood. I don't know what we do with it, but it's kind of cool, isn't it? 
So it wasn't like there was room in between. Yeah. They'd grown around it. But left a little like air pocket back there, enough for spiders to make well, nests. Well, we can put it aside for now. Do you think you're going to do something with it? We're hoarders of everything. <laughs> Good job. Um, this is a swamp. I'm really worried about the emus. So this won't be in their pen, though, really. Just the very one. edge of it. That one. We okay. need to get more dirt over here somehow. I'm going to trim some more along the edge of the pond. Look at the water there. bubbling up there. bubbling right up in that uh, corner. There, see it? No. But I trust you. Oh, oh yeah. no, it's No, it's swimming. a bug. It's a moth. Oh. You want that piece or not? No? What are you going to make me out of it? I'm not making a thing out of it. Unless you come up with something some idea that I think is cool, then I'm nice. But... Maybe a seat, but my butt's too big for that little cradle. Can you cut me another seat out for the, my other cheek? Yeah. I think only one cheek could fit in that hole. I could use it as a prop for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, okay, we got the little one down. We got the two. They're hooked at the base to go. Not as young as I used to be. I can't climb it. He's afraid he'll get stuck and won't be able to get out. So he's just gonna pull it. Oh, it's not wanting to go. Our skid steer tires are turning, tracks are turning. Poop. Rut row. Closed up on you. Well. Now what, Flinster? I uh, will get it. You're going to have to cut it on the back. Yeah. I didn't want to get stuck in the mud and it kick out on me, though. I think I can make that work. Got a bunch of sticks he put on top of that mud bog. He's just afraid he won't get out of the mud. Look out, Blue. Get over here. Holy cow, what was that? That scared me. Oh gosh. Look out, Frank. I think these other, tr this tree here, way up high, is blocking it. Is that yeah. These, that tree's holding that whole up to, upper top, isn't it? Did you see the skid steer start pulling back? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we'll figure it out.
go. Doggies, she came down. <laughs> She's still coming down. Woo! Oh my goodness. Whoa, Frank. <laughs> that was close, Frank. All right. Frank had a front row seat there. <laughs> Man, I wish I'd have, I didn't have my camera on. Did you get it? I don't know. No, I got it, but I don't know if I got it, how close it ended up by Frank. It dug a trench. Look at this. Going down. Some yanking on it. Yeah. Okay, so I was wrong. It wasn't dead. It's not dead, but it's going to die. Because of all the water. Right. Because we've removed all the junky trees and the cedars that have been sucking, sucking up a lot of this water. water. So, and this, this ground here this dirt most of this i brought in yeah it was just a thin layer of dirt on top and it's all like slabs of rock under that mm -hmm. so the water the groundwater has nowhere to go okay so the since the groundwater has nowhere to go the scrub brushes were like thriving here the right. cedars everything because there was all this water on top isn't that why people hate cedars? Not only because they are an extreme fire risk, because once they catch on fire, it's like dynamite of fire. Right. But they suck up a lot of the water that the vegetation needs. So those adult cedar trees over there, yeah, which is probably in that cluster, adult, not juvenile, there's probably 10 yeah. adult ones. Each one of those sucks up 35 gallons of water a day. Dang, on average. 35 gallons. Um, so we've taken away the source here that used to suck up most of this water. I mean, this area has always been a little wetter, but not like this. Right. So you figure in this area, if you had, even if you had medium sized trees that did 20 gallons a day and you had 20 of them, that's 400 gallons a day yeah. that now is not getting sucked out of the water or out of the ground. So, well, that tree helped dig a trench that you can continue on down to the pond. So the reason this is not dead, but the reason we're cutting it is because this is two reasons. It's going to be right on this fence line. If you can see this fence behind me. This post. Let me zoom in on it. So it's that be fence the line is basically going to come right along yeah. the edge of this. For Mimu's enclosure. Right. Plus, once trees sit in water, like trees around the edges of our ponds eventually die. We've lost how many trees over the last couple of years uh, around the edges of the ponds? Over 100. Yeah, um, they just can't handle sitting in the water. So, yeah, this is a big old post oak, but now that it's the only thing sucking up water here, mm -hmm. it, it's not sucking enough up and it'll just drown. Yeah. So, so then we, it would crash onto our fence yep, and potentially hurt the emus. To remove at that point. We'd right. have to pay somebody with a bucket truck to come remove it. Yeah. Or either take the fence down and put it back up right. after we pulled it. Right. Or wait, you know, at risk it falling over on the animals. Right? If it dies. When yep. it dies. The reason we didn't cut this like normal trees where we cut a V in the front and then a, a back cut. Mm -hmm. a wedge in the front whatever you want to call it um look that's the exact reason why if right. the tree fart farted if the tree farted if you the out tree farted, <laughs> it would have killed me we're tree professionals farted here falling in a way i didn't anticipate it would kill me mm. so. well i was praying your mom and jet were praying Frank guided me. Yep. He could see where it needed to be cut. He cut millions of trees, probably. And here we are. Okay. We got it down. We got one, one more. more go. One more to go. Okay. So Sam takes the opportunity to run our skid steer any chance she gets. And I don't blame her. It's pretty fun. Got it. Good job, 
Mama, good job. Oh, did he say that? No. no. I'm sure he would have if he was over here. He's very he, encouraging. He is a big supporter. Yeah. He Jet. He all he'll always say, "Nice job." Even if I'm picking up poop, he'll say, "Nice job picking up poop, Mama." Absolutely nothing wrong. <laughs> uh, I, I, earlier, I think we did some stuff when wrong. It comes to work, yeah. They're going to take that tree down now. See what Daddy's doing. Huh? Putting a chain around that. What are you going to do different? Do the back cut. Where... Remember, see, we didn't, oh, we didn't do the back cut on that one until later when we couldn't pull it down. Then we did the back cut, then it finally came down. The back cut's what we didn't do because I was scared I'd get stuck in it. Mm-hmm. These boots are off. I love them. I don't even wear my muck boots. I got a perfectly good pair of muck boots. Muck boots are expensive too. Aren't they over a hundred dollars a pair? And these are what? Probably what? Sixty. Yeah. Wow. I think I paid forty or fifty for these. Uh huh. I'm back up. I will? Yeah, it's definitely going to be better than that other one. This sucks standing in the mud. Yeah, I do. You can probably get it. Blue. Blue. Blue, come on. Come on. Come on, come on Blue. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let's go back here where we're safe. Gosh, here we go again. Hi, Mimu. You keeping an eye on everything? Hi, Mary. Let's get back here, guys. Come on. Rue, I'm trying to film. Stay back here, Ginger. Back here. <laughs> this is a nice big tree that died because it's right on the rim of our pond. We hated that it died, but we're afraid if we don't cut it down, it's going to fall in because it is dead. I'm trying to record, and this is happening. Doggies. That was a big one. Well, 
crap. You gonna need your waders? He didn't even take out the burial rock. You didn't even move the burial rock. That was close. You think Beasley is cussing me right now? No, Blakey Keep is. Keep it down up there. Blakey is, though. You know he is. <laughs> Look how close it came to it. Did you think it was going to do it? Yeah, I thought it was going to hit it. This is where we have Blakey, Beasley, and Willow buried. So I guess now we just need to hook it on that and pull it out. I know it's going to drag it in the dirt. But well, I, what about this one? Well, yeah, I'm going to cut them. And then we'll, we'll move the logs over there. What do you think? Well, ask these guys what they think. <laughs> They come nice to... job, Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Frank, can you stay a few more days? Yeah. And get some stuff done around here? Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> you guys... It was fun, though. You were a lot of help. This is stuff we've been wanting to do for a while. So all we got to do when we need help is call and say, hey, you guys want to come see the kids? <laughs> yeah. That will yes. work every time. <laughs> wow, and then works. I'll have two days of help. <laughs> yeah. You know, I do this stuff, and I, love, I like to be out here, but I love to come see the kids, yes. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate you guys. Definitely. Do we yes. got a lot done in mm -hmm. just a couple hours. And I'm pooped out. Are we going to try to get this even with those? or? <laughs> well, I think we uh, we definitely got to get the chain off. And then, yeah, I think we'll cut it in half. You got some so good logs now. Chain now. Why? Well, because all that dirt. I mean, uh, it, it'll... That's a bandsaw, though. Oh, oh you I mean, mean my chainsaw. To cut yeah. it. You're going to cut it again. It's dull. Oh, you know, okay. Right all right. So. It'll be the last cut we make, and then I'll sharpen it. Okay. Thanks, guys. Okay.